I believe I can continue to fight, maybe in a different manner. I will not run for speaker again. Chaos on Capitol Hill ousted House Speaker Kevin McCarthy says he will not try to reclaim the leadership role. McCarthy is now the first House Speaker in history to be effectively fired by fellow lawmakers. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes. And I'm David Wade. Already tonight, Republicans are wheeling and dealing, trying to choose a new party leader. This is a live look at the Capitol tonight. WBC's Chris Tanaka has been following all of the latest developments. And Chris, boy, this is a tight deadline. Better believe it, David. That's because the House fundamentally cannot function without a speaker. Now, candidates will need to emerge, then a roll call vote will be taken. Until someone gets 218 votes and is the new speaker, everything from aid for Ukraine to funding the federal government are all at risk. The office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. An orderly, ordinary vote with extraordinary ramifications. For the first time in our country's existence, the House Speaker has been removed. Patrick McHenry of North Carolina is now the Speaker pro tempore. It'll be his job to fill McCarthy's position immediately. Meantime, McCarthy and Matt Gates, the Trump acolyte who brought the vote, took shots at each other, while Dems took shots at them both. You all know Matt Gates. You know it was personal. It had nothing to do about spending. It had nothing to do about everything he accused somebody of he was doing. It all was about getting attention from you. The thing we have in common, Kevin McCarthy said something to all of us at one point or another that he didn't really mean and never intended to live up to. The Republicans won a narrow majority last term and have now demonstrated to the American people that the cancer of MAGA has eaten away at their own body politic, and they are unable to govern. WBZ political analyst John Keller noting the mess in Congress is in many ways like the country itself. It's in part a reflection of how deeply divided we are, how narrow the margins are, and how difficult that renders governing. And whoever it is that tries to govern the House will have to contend with the faction of right-wing Republicans who prefer chaos to compromise. They're more about blowing it all up as if what's going to emerge from the rubble is going to be some kind of preferable utopia. And on top of everything that happened tonight on the Hill, Texas Republican Troy Nell says he's going to file paperwork to nominate former President Trump to be the next speaker. Lisa? All right, Chris, thank you.